guys, and welcome to another episode. And we're gonna get right back into it. So yeah, we've been building our church. Looks nice and gloomy. Even has a bell, look at that detail. Does it also have a read? Doesn't have that, okay. So, um, yeah, we can see our village expanding slowly over time. And how is it with the people? We've got two unemployed people, good. Let's see. So we're gonna assign someone to a stonemason hut because I think that's a good idea. Um, what more? One extra person to go foraging for berries. Okay, good. So yeah, what's the next goal? That's a good question. We have 17 serfs and 13 commoners. The woodcutter camps are full. Got 90 wood, okay. Why is it full? I guess because they can't lose their goods. They can only store up to 100, is that true? Or not? <laughs> you would think that 100 is the max, but apparently it can even go up to 102. So I'm not really sure about this, but I'm guessing 100 is going to be the max, but that's fine. Because then we have plenty of wood and plenty of it's being made into uh, carpentry. Okay. So our main goal is going to be making money because apparently we are just about breaking even and we're slowly getting on top now. And our main income is berries. Okay, so we're not really selling. Or do we have to... Oh, I think you need to get your planks in here and then you can sell them. Maybe that's something I forgot. Because we also had to get the tools in there. So maybe... Therefore, you also need to get the planks in the warehouse be able to trade it. Used for stocking resources to trade. Yeah, there you go. Okay. But we have got nobody that really transports the goods towards the warehouse. So we're going to have two people. And then I'm guessing they're going to walk from the sawmill to the warehouse. And then from the warehouse, we can sell it to a trader. So where are Sophie and Emily? Or Emma. Emma, I mean. There we go. That's one. I think if we just wait for a trader to come here. Is there going to be a trader? There's our trader. Look at him go. So, I think we can make some money off this guy. But let's see what's going to happen now. Oh, we got to sell it. I think it just gave us some gold. Let's see. Training come. There we go. We sold it. Great. So that's how we're going to make money. So, we should make another sawmill and produce more planks once I get my 100 gold. I'm gonna need more people. Okay, there's more and more people coming in. Great. How's the extraction zone going on? Okay, good. Good, good, good. 
So what am I hoping to achieve in this episode? I think what I want to achieve is to have a operational bakery. So we're going to get people to produce the wheat. We're going to have a windmill and we're going to have a bakery. That's the goal. And I want to have more money. So I guess we're just going to fill this up with planks. Stock to the maximum. our village a little bit. Deliver 30 berries. We could actually do that. Um, I want to have labor points. Deliver 30 in 60 days. Okay. We have 32, so... Yes, okay, um, berries, stuck to the maximum. That's one. But I don't want to sell it. Is he gonna buy the berries? Okay, good. See if we can achieve this. Okay, we've got another sawmill. Great. Oh, he's taking all the berries. It's not good. So we've got three people on it. Okay. Then let's produce some more berries. Gathering hot. That. Over there. I like how the houses are like placed in the middle of nowhere, like in no connection to each other. We need more people. It's seriously a problem in this game. It's not having enough people. But there are two arriving right now, that's, so that's, that's something. Just gonna demolish that one. Which has a windmill, it's 200. Okay, we don't have enough money for that yet. We don't have enough berries either. Can I make you stop selling for a moment? Let's you stop being a mark tender. Why is the church banging? What's happening? Why are you doing this? That's good. We guess I can need one less builder for this place up. That's 15 berries, okay. Can we make this go quicker? I think we're halfway there. That's good. Plenty of berries here. 22. 30, there we go. So now we've unlocked some parts or some points. Good. Then I want to have a guy bring it back over there again. At least now I accept this. 
I don't really know what refuse like that means in this context. Like refuse to bring in new or would like accept buying it maybe? Is that it and refuse to sell it? Maybe that's it. Let's build another warehouse. Place it over here. Assign one of you to be an arch tender to sell it again because otherwise we won't make money. Let's see if there's no berries anymore. The production of berries should be up now, and now we're gonna enhance it by making more different types of food. By making the windmill once we've got 200 gold. So he just dragged some of the berries from over there, okay, good. Um, there's another trader coming up, maybe? Doesn't seem like it yet. Come on, let's make some money. Enough food. I accept selling these. Here I want to store bread. Solely bread. And I have one person assigned to it. Do we get more people? I don't know. That's a very sad farm. <laughs> Are you gonna buy all my planks, my good sir? Okay, I did buy some. Oh, then he goes to the next, okay. So then he goes to the next warehouse. Next goal is to get 300 gold. No quests. It feels like there needs to be more of a goal. How do you unlock this? I need splendor. How do I get splendor? Splendor, splendor, splendor. Church gives me slender. Which you and I have one. Do I need like a labor? Does the market give me anything? Oh, okay. So it gives you labor splendor if I build a blue, green, or red tent. These are all used as decoration. But how much does it cost to build this? Doesn't say that. Like this one costs something to build, but this one just gives splendor. Why not? That was easy. Is that all? <laughs> so I just need to add some... Add some barrels. Okay, I guess we have figured out the game. Um, let's make a fisher heart and 
Void Manor and a hatch, whatever that is. And we can make a wooden keep. Cool. Ooh, wait, what is happening? We are allowing you to establish an outpost on your territory. You will be available to participate in military campaigns for your leech. Do not forget that this is a privilege. It tells Maggie that I will comply with his warrior request. Build a wooden keep. Yes, that's what I will do. It's one core building. Okay. Wait, do I get like an extra territory? No, okay. Uh, let's build it over here. Or over there, on the sea. Let's build it on the sea. Okay, this is the core. What else does it need? Is that it? There's one core building. Wooden top. Okay. There's a door. Wooden gates. Decorative flag. Yes, let's add a flag. Okay, good. And then start construction. Okay, so we're gonna have to need a lot of planks, but that's fine because we have a lot of planks. And we're still harvesting a lot of it. And okay. Then what else do we need? Two tools, we have that as well. We just need to make cloth. How do we make cloth? I guess we need sheep for that. Okay, so a sheep farm, weaver hut, and a tailor workshop. Okay, we can we can buy that. We need to expand. I need more room. So that's a sheep farm. And then we can need a hundred golds for the weaver hut. So that's going to be the next point. We will place it over here, I think. We almost had a hundred and now it's gone, okay. Got plenty of berries so far. the church. It's getting busy right in the town now. If only the people would buy a bit more. Okay. Please not. Interesting. That was good. That's a good sign. But I really want to build this weaver hut. So give us that option. Okay, if there's one thing I'm going to focus on the next episode, it's going to be creating money. Because I really don't know how that works in this game yet. But, okay, well, we've got 170, let's quickly build it before we don't have money anymore. Taylor's gonna cost 50. 
gonna place it over there. Okay, so I haven't completed my goal of getting the threads, but I did manage to get the starting blocks for the, the village defense, the wooden keep. So that's a good start. And uh, that's gonna be it for this episode. So in the next episode, we're gonna finish the structure because we will finish up our sheep and bread production and we're gonna figure out how money works. So if you guys liked this episode, then please let me know, leave it in the comments, subscribe if you wanna see more of it and keep updated. And um, as always, I hope you guys had a good day and goodbye.